Right, the next step after the machine, of course, is the CFD setup. Now here, you can actually set, uh, uh, you know, the uh, CFD model based on the physics of the uh, uh, flow. Um, so we can actually start by uh, checking the mesh. Uh, and also report the quality. Uh, this is a 2D mesh, so we can see that the high, the um, orthogonal quality is uh, uh, very good, which is very much uh, close to one. Um, right. So the next thing is uh, we choose the transient uh, for this for the time. Uh, the gravity, which is minus 9.81 in the negative y direction. Uh, we move on to the models. Uh, there are a number of multi-phase models in Fluent. Uh, what I found out is that uh, for uh, two-phase separator, the Eulerian um, model is uh, quite good. So although this is a two-phase separator, I mean that you have just oil and water going in through a separator, uh, we do have to account for the air that's on top of uh, uh, the oil. So we'll choose the phases to be three. Um, yeah, we can start with, uh, you know, whichever formulation, either implicit or the explicit. Uh, um, we'll go with the implicit. As for the viscous uh, lamina, we'll choose Ke Epsilon uh, with standard um, wall functions. And then the next thing is to uh, go and add the materials. We already have air in there. You can actually add... Uh, the water phase and the oil phase. So for the water phase, we have water here at the bottom towards the end. Um, you know, everything is fine there. Copy that. Uh, the oil we choose kerosene and then later uh, edit the density and the viscosity. So you can copy the kerosene there. Close. Uh, the density of the oil is uh, about 800 kilogram per meter cube and then the viscosity is quite uh, viscous. It's uh, 0 0.1615. 1615 there. Click on change there to change those properties. Close that. Uh, so we can go to the uh, setup of uh, setting up physics and then show all the phases. The first phase here is the air, which is called the gas phase. The second phase, uh, we can assign the water as the second phase water there water and another important thing uh, that the Eulerian model considers is the diameter so for this we'll uh, take a diameter of 0 0.5 um, which is which you know it's quite decent um, so that means uh, that's 5 e minus 4 uh, what you can actually do to change this uh, rather than from meters to millimeters is uh, if you go into solve uh, user defined functions unit there uh, click on any uh, of those quantities, click uh, L there, lens, change that to millimeters, close, and then we can go on to the third phase, which is the oil, so the kerosene now, select the kerosene and that to be 0 0.5, okay. Now, if you have, uh, you know, any surface tension um, uh, data, you can put that in, uh, the we know that the uh, surface tension there is uh, about uh, 72 times per centimeter. So that's uh, point zero seven two. Uh, you can also add those if you have the data there. Uh, but I think for now I'll just leave that uh, going OK. Close that. Right, the next thing is the boundary conditions. We have uh, an inlet and three outlets for the gas outlet we leave that at the pressure outlet we don't have to you know edit anything there the inlet there is a velocity inlet um, for the gas we as i've said earlier it's just two phase going in the separator so we leave that at zero um, for the water um, now for five gallons per minute that will uh, be equals to zero point right zero point three one one two seven uh, meter per second and the multi-phase to be 0 0.5. The same goes with the with the oil, so it's a 50, um, 50 by 50 ratio, liquid-liquid ratio. That's 0 0.31127, and then that's 0 0.5. Go back 
upon right that's good there operating condition you can actually add that just right operating density there that's in for the, that's it for the inlet now the oil outlet um, we need to put in some back pressure there um, which actually simulate the control valve uh, controlling the liquid levels so the oil will choose the back flow um, with a fraction as one which means only oil is put in that uh, you know that, that back pressure and uh, you can actually use uh, you know you easily calculate the pressure based on the liquid levels that you are interested in um, for this uh, I found that about a thousand five hundred it's quite decent um, and then the next is that of the water so we do the same for the water but it, right so and it that's 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 the oil outlet so the pressure there it's about 800 rather because that's the pressure there um, that of the water is a thousand five hundred that of the water would be a thousand five hundred with water put in the back flow pressure so the back flow volume fraction is set to one i think that's it there boundary conditions reference values um, yeah that's also a very important uh, uh, that's an, it's also very important to make sure you change the depth because this is a 2d model and what fluent actually does is it takes the diameter as the area so if we change that depth uh, so that you know fluent can actually multiply that depth by the diameter to actually give the area which will then be used to calculate the uh, mass flow uh, in and out uh, of the system so uh, I think the value that I have for that is about uh, 